Hey guys, what's going on? It's Cody back with another episode of TLC Trash Fire. So in the last episode, we dove into where Brandon and Mary currently stand in the Philippines. So I didn't show it on that episode, but Brandon has been sleeping outside on a bench, or not sleeping, but just trying to get away from Mary and stuff like that. But I thought today, since the last TJ and Kimberly video I made got 4,000 views, <laughs> that maybe it'd be wise, since I'm trying to grow my channel, that we cover Kimberly and TJ, because apparently that's what people are the most interested in right now. So, at least according to the almighty algorithm, whom I pray to every day to help my little baby channel grow into a big boy adult channel one day. So yeah, so where are Kimberly and TJ currently? The most recent episode that I can see here is episode 14 of season 5 of 90 Day Fiancé the Other Way. So the last time I covered Kimberly and TJ... I believe it was the Scream episode where Kimberly covers her ears and screams. <laughs> Wait. Um, so yeah, that's the last time I covered them. This on this episode of 90 Day Fiance, they're doing a pre-wedding bridal shower kind of ceremony. So it's pretty interesting to see Kimberly's reaction to that, her opinion on everything, her sort of perspective on the bridal shower. And mind you, in an Indian wedding, it's not so bride-centric like it is in the United States. So basically with an Indian wedding, it's all about the family, it's all about the friends of the family, and yes, I mean, the wedding is about the two people getting married, but it's more like everyone participates, everyone takes pictures, everyone, it, it's just a little different. It's not so centered around the couple, it's more centered around the entire ceremony, if that makes sense. So that is kind of getting to Kimberly, who wants the whole thing to be about her. I mean, at least that's what I can perceive from these clips. But I haven't watched this in a few days now, so I think you're going to get a pretty fresh, like, decent reaction out of me. I'm not cold watching it, but I don't really remember everything, so I think it'll be pretty interesting. So anyway, let's see what Kimberly and uh, TJ are up to. And as usual, let's dive right into it. She is like being so difficult throughout everything. And it is kind of an odd request for the bride to sit on the groom's, on her mother-in-law's lap on the groom's mother's lap, but it's a different culture, so I don't know. And uh, maybe in this episode, I'll tell you my experience with Indian weddings because I'm divorced, but I had an Indian wedding in New Delhi, which sounds insane, but I that absolutely happened to me in my life. And it was a complete shit show. So we might have to have an entire separate episode where I just explain what happened during that wedding because it was, re it was a nightmare. It was a waking nightmare. So Kimberly needs to count her lucky stars that this wedding's going well, that no one is getting injured from weird chemicals put in the Hindi ink. That happens. <laughs> That is a little preview of what happened at my wedding. Um, so, yeah, I need like 20, 30 minutes to explain that in of itself. But Kimberly is is acting up. She, you're you're going to see what I'm talking about here. I didn't know I needed to sit on your mom's lap. That would have been good to know. <laughs> I think it's like a respect thing, like the mother 
who raises the groom, who met the woman. I don't know. It, it's a little strange, right? Am I weird for saying that? Am I weird for like looking like this? I don't know. They have a nice venue too, by the way. Like some, well, it's decent, it's decent. The venue I was married in was better than this one. I never saw the receipt for that wedding, but I'm sure it was over a hundred thousand dollars. Ah, the Mindy. Mindy. Okay. Mindy. Okay. Thank you. Good artistry too. They have a really good Mindy artist, or whatever. Am I, am I saying that right? Yeah. Henna artist. Let's just call it that. Okay, doing a little twirl. That's cute. How you doing? It's okay. Just miserable as usual. You know, just always upset and... I started throwing up earlier. Oh my God. Are you nervous at all? No, I'm more nauseous than nervous. But I'm trying to stay positive right now. She gained some weight too, right? I mean, not a big deal, but... That's what happens in India, all the foods. Like, you gotta really be careful because you can carb up in India, like, big time. Because <laughs> everything has rice and bread and, you know, it's very easy to carb up. Well, that looks really beautiful. There's a lot to this. Yep. I'm so happy that my parents are here with me it makes me feel a lot less alone she does look sick she looks greasy and just kind of out of it or something now i am really looking forward to getting my mendy done this is one of my favorite things about uh, traditional hindu weddings there's the yeah. brother she's always had trouble with this guy yeah sure nice yeah Oh my goodness. The meeting yesterday was really. That was a little aggressive, right? <laughs> I'm sitting here. You're not sitting here. You see me sitting here, right? Important. Yeah. You sit according to where I sit. I'm sitting here. You sit there. Just chill, dude. Just chill, brother. Just chill, brother. I'm a handful and I know it, so. Here she goes again, trying to act like a like a twelve year old thing. Or I'm a handful, and I know it. <laughs> I'm gonna be abusive to everyone around me, and I know it because I'm in a bad mood. So <laughs> I'm a handful. What can I say? <laughs> I know. He's thinking really bad thoughts right now. <laughs> He's like, "You're a." F I hate you, and I, I'm just so angry at my own brother right now for marrying you. Please go back to the United States. <laughs> You're going to tear my family apart. You're going to tear my family apart. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> but I'm not. Look gonna at the veins. You can always tell someone's upset, smiling when they have the veins popping in the front, like. It's like that, but the veins are coming out, so it's kind of like angry smiling, like, yes. <laughs> it hurt my feelings whenever you called me stupid, because I know I'm, I'm stubborn, I know Why? I'm not spoken, I know I'm a lot of things, but I'm not stupid. Why are you bringing this up again? Just let it go. Just let it go. You're at the bridal ceremony now. There's no need to, to bring this shit up. It's going to make him upset. It's going to make you upset. It's because she hasn't. she's not over it, you know? She's not over it. They, they fought, and then hopefully they made up, but now it's, like, coming back up again. You are not yet. I have to apologize if I say anything wrong, even in fighting. Yeah, there you go. Just whatever. Okay, now you accept me? I do, yes. <laughs> yeah. I like no, she doesn't. <laughs> she she just she absolutely does not. She's not over it and she's gonna bring it up again. Guarantee you. Both mature enough to respect each other. 
into if somebody gets angry, we can just be like, hey, chill out. <laughs> My stomach is starting to settle down. So now that everything's smoothed over, I am super excited about the rest of the day. I think your stomach, it could be bad food or it could just simply be nerves because some people's anxiety goes straight to their gut and some people stress eat as well. So it could be she ate something funny, which you can accidentally do in India or more than likely, I think she's just anxious. One of the best parts about this wedding is how many different outfits I get to wear. How many looks I get to show. Yeah, girl, but you're going to be in Indian get-ups the whole time. <laughs> when you come to India, you are immersed in their culture. They, they don't give an inch for anything Western. You're going to be like, it's going to be like a fashion show for your audience, basically. You, you don't wear anything Western. From head to toe, we're talking about the pointy shoes. Yeah. The, the whole thing, the whole deal. You're going to be wearing it. And bridal stuff is a whole industry in India. I mean, it is everywhere, but it's a huge industry there. And there's some shops where you're talking about very expensive garments. <laughs> they don't play with garments. Right now it's Sanjay ceremony, which is like a bridal shower in the US. We have come for the bride. Do we just go together? Just yeah. like this? Okay. So lap is in Hindi is called Anjali. So whatever gifts you getting, you are placing in on your lap. It just doesn't feel right, you know what I mean? There's just some vibes happening. It's just something's off. I think it's Kimberly, honestly. She's just not... Just, just not doing well mentally. Mita is like lucky for us. We See how awkward that is for being an American and just random people are just stuffing food in your mouth. That's so awkward. Fruits and sweets to try. Okay. That's what I'm saying. They don't. They just. They just run you over with their traditions. <laughs> like if you marry an Indian, it, you don't have any say in the wedding. Zero. At least that was my experience. And it, I mean, I don't know what it is, but there's this cultural thing where if you're dating or marrying, like well, you're marrying an Indian, right? Whether or not you're a man or a woman, your ass is going to India and you're having an Indian wedding. Like my ex-wife, I wanted to have a small ceremony in the US and then have the big wedding in India. She said, hell fucking no, we're not doing that. We're just going to India and I don't care if your family can't make it. And that's exactly what happened. My family couldn't make it. We're talking about a, like a 16 hour flight or something like that. At this point, my grandmother was dying. She was like getting up in the years and just not doing well health-wise. All my relatives were older. Like my only living relative still is like my mom and my great aunt. And, and like my mom couldn't make it either because it's just such a long flight and you have to take off like a week to go to one of these things because it takes like two days of travel one way and then you're completely fucked because you're just like jet lagged out of your mind and then you, you just find yourself in the tropical heat and it's just so it's just crazy it's crazy coming from the united states to india you've never been there before it's it's a wild experience but that's yeah <laughs> 
I, I just wanted to take a break and explain some of my personal experience with this <laughs> uh, while this is buffering. So hopefully it, it, it is good now. Thank you. People are putting stuff on me and smiling, taking yeah. pictures of me. So they're basically putting and smiling, gifts. taking pictures, and then someone's taking it away. Yeah. And then that's that's intense. That is intense because you have to. Let me ex let me explain my situation because it's more interesting than this. Okay. So I'm just going to, we're not going to have a separate episode. I'm just going to tell you right now my experience with the Indian wedding. So during the Mindy ceremony, I'm talking about my wedding here. So during the Mindy ceremony, everything is so expensive, right? So you want to cut corners on some of the stuff. And what happened was someone hired these Mindy artists and we were in this tent like this this they had like one or two large tents and that's where they decorate everything so we were in this tent and these guys come in and they break out this mindy everything looks legit right everything looks legit so they're they're doing the mindy on everybody this and that so I'd say about three, four, they left, right? Everybody got the Mindy, they left. So about three or four hours later, my eyes started hurting. Like it just, just kept getting red and it was the most pain. Like I was just like, I, I told my ex at that, well she was, you know, my wife at that time, but I told her, I said, my eyes are fucked up. I don't know what's wrong, but there's something wrong with my eyes. And she was very dismissive. She was like, no, no, there's nothing wrong. What's wrong with you? Stay. Like, because everything's super, like, they, you, you have to do everything, you know? And I said, no, my eyes hurt. I'm going, I'm going upstairs to lay down, right? I just, because my eyes were on fire. So I went upstairs to lay down. Somehow I went to sleep. So I wake up and then... So my ex wakes up too, and she starts screaming. Both of our eyes are burning. Like, it doesn't matter how much you blink. You put water in there. It doesn't matter. Nothing. It's just on fire. Imagine that, okay? And our eyes are red. Like, they're just blood shot, all the blood in there. And then we come out of the room, and her whole family eyes are burning. So we rushed to the hospital and they injected us with something. I don't know. It must have been like a Benadryl type of deal, but they injected us with something and we just sat there just eyes burning, eyes burning, eyes burning. And like I'd say about an hour later, like finally it started to kind of go away, but the eyes were still burning. And it ruined the entire wedding. It ruined everything. Because the next day, I like I wore these giant sunglasses because I could not open my eyes. My eyes were still on fire. And my ex, her eyes were still on fire. And she had to do all this makeup and shit. And so she was like crying. So the makeup would just, you know, it wasn't her fault. It was just like, you know, your eyes are burning. So the wedding was ruined, basically. Like, we still, of course, went through with it because they make you. <laughs> like, I was begging them. I was like, please, can we, like, push this off one day so we can just sleep and try to, like, make this go away? And they were like, no, we're not. Like, we are still doing this. And I was being logical, you know? I was like, look, if we just postpone this one day, then the next day oh and by the way there was like 20 other people that had to go to the hospital and i'll explain why so our eyes were just burning burning everyone everyone that was in that tent their eyes were burning and so at the wedding like my i wore sunglasses the entire time and looked ridiculous and then my ex was just crying and just like just like you know makeup like like we got this expensive makeup artist and it was just like it was just ruined you know 
and her eyes were red. And, and the people did not give a shit. Like, everyone knew that we were injured, and they were just flashing camera, flashing camera, flashing camera, because they want to be in the picture. They, it's something about, like, being at the, it's just, it's this whole thing. I don't know how to explain it, but like I said, once the ball starts rolling with a wedding in India, you are fucking walked in there. You are walked in there. It, it was truly a nightmare. So now let me explain why what how, why that happened. So some of these sketch ass people in India, these sketch ass Mindy artists, they want the Mindy to be like tattoo level and for it to dry faster and for it to be dark, like very dark so it lasts a long time. Someone had put industrial drying chemical into that, okay? So when they put it on our arms and body, the fumes, like that initial, when they just lay it, the fumes came up. And, and this chemical, I don't know what it was. To this day, I still don't know what the fuck it was. I might get cancer from it. I don't know. But to this day, I still don't know what it was, but you couldn't smell it. It was, it was just something like so strong. And just the fumes alone going up to your eye, it injured like 20, 30 people. And it took us about four or five days to recover. And I told them, I said, Put the fucking wedding off. Like, just wait one day so we can wash our eyes and sleep and try to make this go away. And, of course, in the end, I was right. But they didn't listen to me. Went through the wedding anyway. It was a complete nightmare, disaster, waking nightmare. And then the next day, we were better. Like, it would have been fine if we had just skipped one day. But there's so much pressure from everyone in the family and it doesn't matter who they are it can be like great like step uncle great step great step uncle said do this so we're gonna have to do this it's very toxic and fucked up <laughs> so yeah i mean that was there was a lot more to that story but that was one of the worst like one of the worst things that's ever happened to me in my life. Like, imagine your eyes burning, like, and, and, you, and you're scared you're going to go blind. That's how, that's how much it burned. And people still forcing you to, like, pose for pictures and just, like, flashing lights. You can't even open your eyes from just, like, room light, and then they're just flashing cameras flashing 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 and they even told me to take my sunglasses off and I said fuck you I'm not taking my fucking sunglasses off so I ended up looking like Ray Charles in the wedding pictures but honestly that relationship was a big shit show anyway and I don't care now obviously it's just more of like a trauma now <laughs> you know it's just like Something that, like, most things I can move on from. Like, I've had a lot of traumatic things happen in my life. But some of them kind of stick, you know? And that's one of them. But I'm good at just avoiding thinking about it. Because I'm an optimist. So I'm just like, yeah, that happened. But it could have been worse. We could have went blind. That would have been worse, I think. And I don't think there was any permanent damage to my eyes. So it was just really scary and cringe. And it just really showed me, like, how weddings go there. They, they don't give a fuck what's going on. You can be throwing up blood and you're still taking wedding pictures. So, just saying. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching another episode of TLC Trash Fire. Make sure to like the video before you leave, subscribe to my channel, leave an awesome comment below because you are freaking awesome, and check out the links in the description. You can go to my Patreon where you can support me with just a few dollars.